so in class we read a book titled Pinoy Capital written by Benito Vergara and in the book he conducts interviews with Filipinos who immigrated to the US um, and in one of the interviews the interviewee says uh, why did you come here if not to uh, if you're not going to assimilate so how do you feel that Filipinos from the Philippines need to assimilate to the American culture I don't think they need to assimilate that much into you know I don't think they need to change themselves that much I think the language barrier is probably the biggest the biggest obstacle and um, you know a lot of the, the Filipinos that come over to America uh, I mean especially you know the older generation you know the ones that necessarily weren't taught English in school and that's pretty much the I think that's the biggest biggest obstacle I think everyone everything else is pretty much you know, not exactly necessary. They don't really need to change who they are just to, you know, fit in and be successful in this country. Okay, so in another interview, um, an interviewee kind of gives reasons for why, you know, they don't go back to the Philippines. So reasons like, you know, because America has higher standards of living, um, the Philippines has less, uh, you know, opportunities in general. Uh, do you feel that these are valid reasons um, or because they just don't want to go back to the Philippines? Um, I, well, I do, while I do agree that these are valid reasons, um, I mean, there's probably other personal reasons. You know, a, a lot of, you know, what a lot of people don't understand is that a lot of people leave the Philippines um, in order to, because there is more opportunity and because being away from the Philippines actually benefits, you know, the ones they care back at home. A lot of people move away from the Philippines to work in other countries and you know um, people is actually one of the one of the Philippines' biggest exports you know the, the Philippines has the most people the largest workforce of people not living in their country um, you know people go to other countries to work just so they can send money back to their family you know that's a sacrifice they make and that's you know that's a very unselfish thing to do uh, do you feel that um, that ties to, you know, having family obligation, um, something as reasons why they come to uh, the United States for better job opportunities? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think it's definitely, you know, the Filipinos have a very strong sense of family and it's just a, a strong sense of family obligation, you know, to take care of each other because a lot of times people in the Philippines, you know, they have, you know, whether it be they're, they're too old to take care of themselves or you know, there's health issues and, and this and that, you know, sometimes the only way to to help with that is, is for a family member to kind of go overseas and, and be away from their family. And, and that's, you know, that's the last thing they want to do, but that is sometimes the only thing they can do to really help. Okay. okay. Um, so in another interview, um, the interviewee says that uh, because she's lived in the United States, uh, longer than she's lived in the Philippines, she now considers the U.S. to be her home and for the Philippines to just be another place to visit. Uh, do you feel that if you were in that situation, uh, you would have that same mentality? Or would you, or would the place of where you were born always be like your home? I guess it, I guess it really depends on the, the person individually, um, but as for me, I think for me, being born here and you know spending right right now, you know, 25 years here, um, if I moved to another country, it would, I would really have to stay there, you know, probably the rest of my life to for, to for that to be my home, and I would have to build a life there with the family, you know, and, and plant roots there for me to be uprooted for where I was born, you know, and I think that maybe some Filipinos who who've moved to America kind of feel that way, so.